A tiny snailfish survives 8,336 meters down beyond the depth scientists thought was possible. A smooth golden orb with a hole shows up on a seamount and nobody can figure out what it is. And hundreds and hundreds of unidentified species have recently been spotted for the first time. This is deep sea footage that should not be possible. In August of 2022, scientists dropped a camera into the Izu Agasawara Trench off the coast of Japan. They were part of a decade-long study by the University of Western Australia and Tokyo University, looking for the absolute limit of where fish can survive. At 8,336 meters down, that's more than five miles below the surface, their camera caught something, a tiny ghostly snailfish, a juvenile swimming alone in the void. Now, the pressure down there is 800 times what we experience at sea level. Now, think about having eight tons pressing down on every square inch of your body. For years, scientists believed fish couldn't survive below 8,200 meters because their proteins would just stop working. This little snailfish was swimming 136 meters past that limit. Professor Alan Jameson, who led the expedition, had been studying these deep snailfish for over 15 years. He told the team they'd probably find the deepest fish in these Japanese trenches because the water there is slightly warmer than the Mariana Trench. A few days after filming that record breaker, they actually caught two snailfish in traps at 8,022 meters in the nearby Japan Trench. Those became the deepest fish ever physically captured. Until then, no fish had ever been caught below 8,000 meters. On August 30th of 2023, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's ship Okeanos Explorer was cruising over a seamount in the Gulf of Alaska when their ROV spotted something. The videographer on the live stream called it a yellow hat. Scientists on board started throwing out guesses. Was it coral, sponge, egg casing? They really didn't know what to make of it. They moved the ROV closer and noticed there was a hole or tear on one side of it, and that's when things got kind of uh, creepy. Something either tried to get in or tried to get out. It's like the beginning of a horror movie, one of the scientists said. Another person chimed in saying, pretty sure this is how the first episode of The X-Files started. They used the ROV suction sampler to collect it and brought it back up to the ship. Sam Candillo, the expedition coordinator, examined it and confirmed it was biological, but that's all they could really say. They still don't know what it is. They took it back to shore to be studied with more sophisticated equipment, still, Nothing. It doesn't resemble any known sponge, coral, or egg casing. It might be a new species, it might be an unknown life stage of something we already know about, or could be something completely different. In September 2024, scientists dropped a baited camera lander into the Tonga Trench, the second deepest oceanic trench in the world, at 3,300 meters down. And they ended up capturing something that's been seen fewer than 20 times in history, a big fin squid. And this thing looks like it came from another planet. The squid's tentacles are 13 feet long, way longer than its entire body. They bend at right angles that look like elbows almost. In the footage, you can see it slowly walking across the seafloor and these spindly appendages before it suddenly stops and pulses its fins. Professor Alan Jamison, who collected the footage, said big fin squids aren't something you'd actively go looking for. They're species you kind of just stumble across by accident. Most documented sightings come from oil and gas companies who happen to have cameras down there for other reasons. These squids are the deepest dwelling squids known to science. The largest one ever recorded was over 20 feet long. And experts think they could grow even larger, possibly up to 26 feet. Nobody knows why they evolved these bizarre tentacles or exactly how they feed even. Some scientists think they use them almost like a spider web net to, to capture small prey drifting by. And this one filmed in the Tonga Trench isn't even that big. It was probably a young squid since its tentacles weren't as long as adults. Between January 8th and February 11th, 2024, the research vessel Falkor 2 from Schmidt Ocean Institute spent a month exploring underwater mountains off the coast of Chile. The team, led by Dr. Javier Salandes from Chile's Catholic University of the North, was surveying seamounts along the Nazca and Salas y Gomez Ridge, a chain of over 200 seamounts stretching from Chile to Easter Island. And it was worth it, because when they came back, they documented more than 100 possibly new species. Deep sea corals, sponges, sea urchins, the size of cacti, lobsters, amphipods, and creatures so weird they just don't even have names yet. According to Dr. Salinas, 
We far exceeded our hopes on this expedition. You always expect to find new species in these remote and poorly explored areas, but the amount we found, especially for some groups like sponges, is mind-blowing." Using an underwater robot, they explored 10 seamounts and found that each one had a completely unique ecosystem. They also mapped over 52,000 square kilometers of seafloor and discovered four new seamounts that had never been documented before. The tallest one is taller than a lot of mountains on land. They named it Solito, which means alone in Spanish. On a follow-up expedition from February to April, they found 160 more species they didn't know lived in the region, and they think at least 50 of those are totally new to science. In May 2024, researchers from the University of Western Australia and Kelpie Geosciences dropped a baited camera into the Samoan Passage, north of Samoa. But as the camera was sinking, something attacked it. It was a Dana octopus squid, one of the most elusive squid species on Earth. Heather Stewart, a professor at the University of Western Australia, was reviewing the footage when she realized what they'd captured. The squid, which was about 75 centimeters long, descended on our camera, assuming it was prey, and tried to startle it with its huge bioluminescent headlights, she said. The Dana octopus squid has glowing spots called photophores at the tips of its two arms. They're about the size of lemons, actually the biggest photophores of any animal. Each one has a black eyelid-like covering that the squid can open and close to control the light. The lights are designed to disorient prey when hunting and probably also for communication. But seeing these squids alive on camera is incredibly rare. Most of what we know comes from animals that washed up on shore and got caught by accident or were found in whale stomachs. Professor Alan Jamison, again, director of the Deep Sea Research Center, said, the rarity of live observations of these amazing animals makes every encounter valuable in gathering information on geographic locations, depths, and behavior. Plus, it's such a unique animal that we hardly ever get to see. In 2024, YouTuber and scuba diver Barney Dillerstone sent a baited camera rig 200 meters down in the Bali Sea off Indonesia. He was filming at night to see what would come out in the deep water after dark. Over two nights, he captured conger eels, nautiluses, moray eels, duck-billed eels, spider crabs, and carrier crabs. But during the second night, something showed up on camera that he didn't recognize, a ray-like creature that glided past the bait. He identified it as a stingery, a type of small, rounded ray typically found off the eastern coast of Australia. But stingeries aren't supposed to be in Indonesia. Dillerstone explained that only two stingery species have ever been recorded near Indonesia. The Java stingery, which is considered extinct, and the Kai stingery, which has only been documented from two juvenile specimens caught off eastern Indonesia decades ago. So he sent the footage to marine biologists and nobody knew what the hell it was. And this insane footage comes from 2019. That massive thing writhing in the sand is a blunt-nosed six-gill shark. According to Ocean X, hundreds of meters below the surface lurks a predator older than the dinosaurs and bigger on average than the great white. This is the story of a group of scientists who came together to achieve the unthinkable, tagging the cryptic blunt-nosed six-gill shark in its natural environment using a submarine. And that's not an exaggeration. Blunt-nosed six-gill shark is a species rarely seen by humans. Most are around 15 to 16 feet long, but some grow up to 18 feet, putting them in the same size range as the largest great whites. OceanX later confirmed that during this dive, scientists were able to tag the shark directly from a submersible for the first time ever. Before this, tagging these sharks meant having to bring them all the way up to the surface. In March 2025, scientists aboard the research vessel Falkor 2 filmed something that had never been seen before, at least not alive in its habitat, a colossal squid swimming in its natural environment. That's never happened before. The squid was a young one, about 30 centimeters long, near the South Sandwich Islands in the South Atlantic. The footage came from the remotely operated vehicle Sub Bastion during a 35-day expedition looking for new marine life. And the timing couldn't be better, because 2025 marks exactly 100 years since the colossal squid was first identified and named. So for an entire century, scientists mostly knew this animal from leftovers, you know, beaks found in whale stomachs, torn pieces pulled up by fishing boats. So seeing one swimming around in its natural habitat was pretty incredible. That's the video for today. I will catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next one.